Hi everyone, it's Dixon here. In this video, I'm going to show you which product you should use to boost Wi-Fi in the parts of your home which suffer from poor signal strength and slow speeds. We will be taking a look at the TP-Link AV1300 Powerline adapter set to achieve this. So let's kick it off with a speed test comparison. So as you can see, I'm currently in my office. So in here you can see on my phone, I've actually got full signal. As you would expect, I'm pretty much right by the router. So I'm just going to go ahead and press go and then let it run the speed test and you'll see what the speeds are like. So nothing incredibly amazing, but it's definitely good enough for 4K content. So I'll let it run its test. And then in a second, I will compare that to how it is just when I walk into the living room a few meters away. All right, so nothing amazing, but that's pretty decent. And now let's go ahead and we'll go into the living room. So a little house tour, if I just walk through. And spin around here, so I'm in the living room. And what I'm going to do is the exact same thing. So if I come back, so as you can see the number of bars, it's alternating between nothing or sometimes one bar. So I'm going to go ahead and press the go button and we'll let it do its thing and you'll see a massive difference. And I'm really not that far away from the original router. So you can see it sometimes it's okay and then it massively drops. And if I were to go to the end of my living room, it would actually lose signal completely and go onto my 4G cellular network. Upload speed, not so bad. And that's finished in just a second. And we'll look at the results. And there we go. So what have we got? So 21.9 download speed. You can see there is a massive difference between the two. So now I've actually connected the power line adapter in the living room. And what you'll see on my phone is I've got full signal strength. So everything we need to get going. And what I'll do now is do another speed test. So I'm just going to go ahead and press go and you'll notice straight away that the speed is massively increased and most importantly it's consistent so see that bar go almost level across so it's not dipping at random spikes and it's basically exactly the same if not better than what's in my office so that has made a huge difference when i'm using it in the living room uh, great for my playstation and everything else so 73.9 download speed compared to about 21 earlier. Awesome. Included in the box are two adapters which both need to be plugged into wall sockets. One is connected directly to your router via an included LAN network cable. The other is to be plugged into a socket of your choice in the room which is currently receiving poor Wi-Fi signal. The broadband data is then sent directly to the receiving adapter via the existing electric cable setup for your wall sockets. Clever, right? In short, my living room has poor Wi-Fi signal from the standard router due to the thick walls in my home, despite being only a few meters away. Therefore, I plugged it in right at the back of the room for optimal signal, close to my TV and various accessories, such as my PS5 and Sonos speakers. On the side of each adapter is a pairing button. The idea is that you press the button on each adapter and in a few seconds, the devices will start communicating with each other after they've successfully connected to the power line network. In other words, your home electrics. Out of the box, the receiving adapter will transmit a new Wi-Fi network, which you can leave as is if you like. However, my recommendation is to clone your existing Wi-Fi network to avoid the nuance of having to switch between them as you move around your home. Luckily, this is simple to do by holding down the Wi-Fi button on the adapter and also holding down the WPS button on your router. The green light on your adapter will flash and then remain a solid green colour once everything has been cloned. If you don't have any luck with this step, you can always head over to the app and manually adjust the Wi-Fi name and password. These adapters support dual band 802.11ac Wi-Fi. This means the newly installed adapter supports 2.4 GHz, which offers up to 300 MB per second, as well as 5 GHz, which offers up to 867 MB per second. So for newer devices such as the PS5, they can make full use of the 5 GHz spectrum. 
You also have three LAN network ports on the adapter, which is great if you simply prefer a more reliable setup. Speeds can reach up to 1300 megabytes per second when using a network cable, although this will depend on your router, broadband speeds, as well as the electric cable set up in your home. I've been using these for a couple of months now and have noticed a huge difference in performance. I'm also very impressed with how consistently these have performed. For example, my PS5 now offers a solid ping when playing online games such as Battlefield. There's some other nice touches as well. The fact that these offer an integrated plug socket on the front means you don't lose a socket like many of the other power line adapters out there on the market. The app offers the usual type of customization settings, but does offer some handy features like the ability to schedule your Wi-Fi signal, offer a guest network, and even turn off the green LED status lights if you find these distracting. Wi-Fi AutoSync instantly configures additional extenders to your power line network by syncing settings such as your Wi-Fi name, password, as well as any schedules you may have set up. So you can add more to your home with these and be up and running in a matter of minutes. The fact is, these power line adapters are extremely easy to set up and for their price, you'll notice a significant improvement in your home. Just bear in mind that your electrics must all be connected to the same electric circuit board for this to be effective. So that's how I do it and that's all of the key stuff you need to know. A quick reminder to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section down below. Happy to help. Otherwise, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.